Helping out Ina Thatch, huh? Give me a reason not to plunge a dagger in your chest. Dealing with a mob wouldn't be good for my coin purse. Fine. We're leaving. How is it going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, taking a bit of a break from the GTA world and going back to Skyrim and having some adventure. Now, this video is kind of multiple missions in one since. I had the character, my character, enter into the abandoned house at Markarth with the Vigilant of Stendar and, well, you know, Molag Bal, or whatever the name is, he assigned me the task of finding the priest of Boithwa, or Boitha, and, yeah, I'm having problems pronouncing these these uh, words here, I guess. And, well, turned out the priest wasn't held in some minor uh, forsworn camp. It was in the Deep Valley Vale, or whatever it is. You'll see in the adventure. And, well, there's a lot going on there, and if I freed the priest, then I would miss out on some other parts of the veil. So, after uh, killing all the Forsworn, I continued on. And, well, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you are so kind, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to not miss any other possible videos that I will be putting out that are not only Skyrim related, but GTA related, or even an unboxing or two. So let's get on with this very kind of long walkthrough video of uh, Boleg Bar and the priest and finally getting the mace. So let's get on with the fun. Excuse me, do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. We believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship, evil rites, and so forth. I was actually just about to head on inside. Be good to have someone watch my back. Follow me and keep your eyes open. Daedra are powerful creatures and tricksters. Never know what you'll find. Fresh food. Now, this is just following the vigilant down to where you can't open a door, and then Molig Bell or Bar or whatever starts to threaten you, and either you kill the vigilant or he's going to kill you. And if you're at a high enough level, you're going to easily kill the vigilant, like my character is. And yeah, you can't get into this door and you try and open it and this is where things get interesting this isn't an ordinary daedra we have to get help weak he's weak you're strong crush him you first come on let's go We're getting out of here, now. No, kill him, crush his bones, tear at his flesh. Get out of my hand, Daedra. You will kill, you will kill, or you will die. I don't want to die. I 
can't die here. The Daedra has us. It's you or me. What was that? Yes. Your reward is waiting for you, mortal. Further down. Yes, further into the bowels. Kind of dark and easy to get lost, so. I'm going to cast the spell Candlelight. Very useful in the very dim light that is Skyrim Dungeons. And now we're going to go to the altar and find out what's going on here. Did you think Molek Baal, the Lord of Domination, would so easily reward you? What do you see from that little cage? Speak! Yes, it's an altar. Men would come and sacrifice the wretched in my name. The weak would be punished by the strong. But a Daedric Lord has his enemies, and my rival Boethia had her priest desecrate the altar until you came. Revenge? No. I want submission. I want the priest who did this to bend his knee and give me his soul. He comes by to perform Boethia's insulting rites at my altar, but he's been missing. Captured and bound, left to rot. Save him. Let him perform his right one more time. And when he does, we will be waiting for him. So Moleg Ball has entrusted my character Kelvin to find the priest of Boethia. And usually, I mean, I've played this game so many times, and I've done this mission multiple times, to where usually the priest shows up somewhere like a, a basic readout or basic forsworn encampment, and not as complicated as the place he was taken to. And I won't say the name again, it's like deep something, deep forest. Again, it's one where it's very intricate and time-consuming. And if you just free the priest, you don't get to enjoy the whole mission of the veil itself. And so, again, this guy got brought to this place. And I'll go through step by step what to do once we get there. And once I'm through rifling through the house, there is a lot in this house. You can keep coming back, but once you pick it clean, it's done. And to be honest with you, there's treasure and other stuff that you can find in this house and loot it. I'm getting near the end here, so 
once my character walks out of this house, I'm going to get on with the mission to free the priest and elaborate what I did and didn't do. Turns out the priest is in deep wood veil, and in order to get to that veil, you have to enter deep wood redoubt and fight the Forsworn. Now, this is some basic battle. Forsworn are pretty easy to take down. You really kind of have to worry more about the Briar Hearts because they can really take you down. No matter how much armor you have, and no matter how much resistance to damage you have. And yeah, took the guy's head off with a hammer. And now let's see what's over here. Mm, I'm going to switch over to drop the arrow. I'm going to just keep my hammer. And let's see what this chick does. It is a chick, yeah, okay. And she hits me with a blast of some sorts, and then I got to fight this ice guy, Frost Antrodoc, and I'm going to go after the chick who ran away. You know, Forsworn, got to admit, the women have some skimpy outfits, but hey, they still want to kill you. They're kind of crazy. And nothing there. We're going to take a look around here and then get on with the main part of the mission, which is to find the priest. Uh, yeah, not a lot here. So, kind of move on. There's no master chests around here. Nope. So, grab the poison and the magic stuff, and I can sell that. And let's get on with the entering of the veil or the readout, and then getting on to the veil, and I'll explain what I'm doing as I go through now. While going through dungeons, I like to go sneaky sneaky, so uh, yeah, I'm going to use the bow and arrow and take these guys down one by one. You creep through this entry hall, there's not a lot here, just some gore and guts and melted ice that the Forsworn leave around to discourage visitors. And then you come up to this, there's nothing here, you come up to this gate and open up the gate and sneak through here and you go up these steps here to, <clears throat> yeah, there's a trap, poison arrows, but they shouldn't affect you too much. And you got these two here. <clears throat> Take them down. Blech. And, yep, now you got people kind of looking for you. These guys walking on the uh, bridge here, I'm going to try and shoot them and eventually take them down because you don't want to deal with them in the narrow area of the bridge when you're trying to get on with the mission. And also, I kind of like looking around. Sometimes with Skyrim, there's some things that, well, you got to investigate the corners and you don't want those guys shooting at you at some point. Yeah, I'm going to fast forward just a little bit here and not make this video so long. Having unsuccessfully tried to snipe those guys, I'm coming up here, maybe get closer so I can take them down, but over here there is a Forsworn who, if you don't take him down, will activate some traps and stuff and make it more difficult for you to get into the, deeper into the redoubt. And yeah, now I can see if I can take these guys who are walking on the bridge here down a little more easily they stop first guy yeah boom take him down 
his buddy, what the hell, what's going on? And yeah, another beautiful kill shot. So this makes it a little easier. And again, I'm going to fast forward a little bit to kind of shorten the video up. And you can just search the bodies. They have some decent stuff or some crappy stuff. It doesn't matter. Again, I'm going to fast forward. After walking through a hall, you come to this room and you want to flip to magic and use, um, uh, shoot here, uh, destruction and lightning because lightning bolts disrupt uh, the wards or whatever these things are. These, oh, I used a staff of zombies, so that worked, but you want to set off these uh, traps here and using lightning is the best way to do so and that explodes these uh, frost traps or whatever they are. I'm not doing too well with this but you can see the there's not much here and there's that right there and zap it with magic. Yeah, it's a rune. Forgot to, yeah, it's a frost rune which blows up and does damage to your character if you walk over it. And I think I've taken down all these runes here. That door is locked. You need to get a key. And the key is over in this room where there is another forsworn. And I'm going to flip over to the dragon bone and hopefully sneak up on her, maybe. Mm, I don't want to take her on directly. She's pretty tough. So I'm going to switch back to the bone bow and take her down kind of quiet-wise. I sort of feel a little guilty taking her down, but, you know, it is a Forsworn, and, yeah, they can be nasty. Now, I got the key and some other ingredients. I'm going to fast forward again to the next important part because I'm just going to take a look at the Arcana Enchanter to see if I can disenchant things or create things. Again, I'm just going to fast forward to the next part. Okay, this is the bridge where you shot the two guys down, and yeah, I'm going to get the arrows back, and then there is another force sworn up here before you exit into the veil, and to try and find the priest of Boethia, and you got her, and I think I got a good headshot here and missed. Yeah, she's a little suspicious. I can take her down right now. Boom and boom. And then we can take a look and get into the veil, which there's really nothing here. No good books to read. Nothing worth picking up. Nothing worth keeping. Um, I'll check the uh, Forsworn Pillager. Uh, just get my arrow back is about it. And now let's get on to the veil here and on with the mission of rescuing the priest. The priest of Boethia is located in the veil here and it's daytime, which is nice, makes it easier to take down the Forsworn. There's my dud of an arrow here. and. What you can do is sneaky sneaky or do the direct approach. I've done both. There's another option where you can cross over the river here and there's a really difficult master lock to pick 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to yeah, I'm going to try and sneak up over here. I'm not going to cross the river yet. And this guy, he's going to come down over here and I'm going to take him down first, which will alert a lot of the forsworn. And he just kind of stands there. I can take the second shot. And the other forsworn are now looking and trying to find him. I'm going to take a step back here. And if they come at me, I can shoot them with an arrow. Yeah, they're running down by the river here to take a look. And they walk away. There's no one around. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in full frontal and attack with my war hammer because it's a little more interesting to do that than to go to this tower and try and go to other towers and you know I'm going to switch over to the war hammer and go in full tilt and I'm going to fast forward a little bit because you know this video is going to be really super long if I don't so they already see me and they're shooting at me this guy is going to come up and attack me, and he's easy enough to take down. And I'm going to wind up being a bit of a pin cushion here, but nothing there. And the four sword arrows are not doing a lot of damage to my character, but there's plenty of them. And if they keep swarming at me, I'm going to get under here, and I'm going to fight these four sworn, and I'm just going to let the battle play out, then fast forward a little bit. Taken down the Forsworn or most of them. Now there's an annoying archer who's strafing me. I'm gonna run over somewhere and rest a little bit and show you around the tower. Okay, this is the door you could enter in and come up the back way. It requires a master skill, it's a master lock. You would Sneak across the river, go to this door, open it, go to that door that I just showed you, open it up, and then sneak up these, um, whatchamacallit, stairs. God, yeah, I'm having a hard time here, but I'm going to put a save in here because I don't want to lose my progress. And now I'm going to flip over to the bone, dragon bone bow and try and take out the other Forsworn who is, get rid of the arrow here, and then flip over to the bow and try and take this guy out. He should be coming for me. And yep, he's coming right up here. It's gonna be a duel of bows. Do your worst. Okay, that guy's down. I'm going to do some fast forwarding because there's not a lot here and I'm just going to be recovering some items and maybe a little minor skirmish. I want to get to the point where I'm going to possibly free the priest. There's the priest. I'm not going to free him because I'm going to loot the camp, and then there's an area around here called, um, well, it's called Hag's Den, and if you don't go through that because you free the priest, 
you're missing out on a lot. This is very content heavy. And unfortunately, the priest ends up in this area, which again is unusual. So again, I'm going to fast forward and use again again and get to the next mission. Here we are at Hag's End. I'm going to enter it and begin this mission. Hag's End actually plays an important part if you join the Assassin's Guild and you do the assassination of the wedding rite. You get to find this special armor. I'm going to arm up my dragon bow, dragon bone bow and power it up. There's nothing but a bunch of um, hags and a hag raven, and it's a very short walkthrough of this, but there is a word wall, which is important, and when you get to the final battle after, there's a really neat artifact to find, and I'll explain that. I'm just going to fast forward through this mission because you're battling hags and it's not all that exciting there's some traps and other stuff that could kill you once you go through here i'm going to snipe the main hag and she teleports away and i gotta fight these other women and search through here again i'm just gonna fast forward because this video is going to get really long if i don't Okay, this part, there's a trap here. You want to avoid that. And then the chest is trapped and poison arrows shoot out. There's some decent treasure. You want to check the urn. I'm going to fast forward after this to another interesting part and then continue on to the word wall. Okay, this is where you face the Hag Raven for the final time before she gets to the top of the um, Hag Raven's end, and you gotta face her. And these other women, you try and knock that down and set it on fire. You can just blast them or shoot them. But again, this is the last time you will face the Hag Raven until the end of the actual Hag Raven's end. Okay, here we are at the Word Wall, and the final door before you battle the Hag Raven. And there's a few minor urns around here where you can uh, find some small amount of gold, there's an arcane enchanter up here. And then, of course, the word wall in which you learn the word. Here we go. Word of power, time, slow time. Now I'm going to fast forward to the battle with the hag raven. The hag raven is pretty easy to defeat. If you've sniped her already, she summons some creatures to defend her, these ice uh, wraiths, and she'll keep blasting at you with fireballs. But once you get rid of the ice wraiths, and the you might need to heal. I don't take a lot of damage from magic because I have the character 80% resistant. To magic and fireballs don't do a lot of damage. Now I'm going to flip to the bow and take down the Hag Raven. Beautiful kill shot of the Hag Raven. 
I'm going to check out what's on the altar here, but the Hag Raven has a key to a master chest. Otherwise, there's nothing else on this altar worth taking and nothing else around here. I'm going to grab the Hag Raven, see if she's got the key here, and she does. Feathers, arrow. Thankfully, she didn't fall off the ledge there. Otherwise, yeah, that sucks. Now, the chest isn't over here. It's over here. And again, you don't want to leave here yet. You want to get yourself lined up. And you're going to use Whirlwind Sprint to get across to this area. Not that area, but this area up here because there is a neat artifact. And again, you want to use Whirlwind Sprint. And you got to get yourself kind of lined up here to zip across. And you might need to jump once you get onto the ledge there. And again, use Whirlwind Sprint. I'm going to fast forward to the artifact. Okay, there's some Quicksilver Ore, and then there's this chest. But here is the artifact. It's called Predator's Grace. And it's really neat for, it's an apparel, it's shoes, and it gives you muffle and plus one uh, stamina regeneration. Thing is, you can't disenchant it. And then there's this master chest. Open it up, and you can take whatever you want. Now I'm going to cut to where I free the priest. Now that Hag's End is done, I'm going to go free the priest of Boethia and finish up the mission for Moleg Bell. And here we go. But before you free the priest or even talk to him, there's a master chest for Deepwood Vale. And there's some nice, nice stuff. There's this helmet, and there's a warhammer here. There's some books. There's some potions. Um, battle axe. You don't want to read these books, but hey, they're they're hanging around. There's a steel shield, and again, you want to kind of loot this area a little bit before you talk to the priest, and then talk to the priest. You there? Are you here to kill me? Slay the mighty Logrove while he sits tired and helpless. Rescue. <laughs> no one knew where I was when I was taken. Who sent you? The Dark Mistress? She sent you? Oh, wait, wait. Mullet Paul's altar. Of course. I have to get to Markarth at once. Cut me loose. Oh, freedom. Now get out of my way. I have a task to attend to. Okay, you can follow the priest or you can fast travel back to Markarth and enter the house, which is what I'm going to do now, and I'm going to cut to the house immediately once I fast travel here. Now you play follow the priest. I'm going to fast forward to the important part. Paul, you think you can best Boethius faithful? I have won this contest before. Ah, but I have my own champion this time, Logroth. 
What? You? Mortal, I give you my mace in all its rusted spitefulness. Crush the spirit from Logroth's bones. Make him bend to me. Get the mace, you beat Logroth up to a pulp, and then he is reincarnated, and you beat him up again, and he finally yields, and you get the mace. It's a pretty good weapon. And... This mission is actually, once you do it, pretty easy to do. I'm going to fast forward through to where you get the mace. The mace of Molek Bal. I give you its true power, mortal. When your enemies lie broken and bloody before you, know that I will be watching. Now, I have a soul in oblivion that needs claiming. Take care of the house while I'm gone. <laughs> And there you have it, the quest for the Mace of Moleg Ball. Like I said, the priest ended up in the deep forest veil, and yeah, it was very unusual that he ended up there. Usually it's somewhere like a redoubt, somewhere very easy, and you free him, you get back to Markarth, you get the Mace, Yada yada, a few minutes, maybe a total of a half hour. This video has gotten kind of long. That's why I did a lot of fast forwarding. It took maybe well over, well, well over an hour to achieve this. And that is an exceedingly long time for this mission. If you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by.